Today we're going to talk about probate. So let's go. Hey, this is David Klein, love at Broker Owner, Next Home, First Choice Realty. Hopefully your choice. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of all the videos that we post because we do it every Wednesday so you can be abreast of everything real estate, everything Costa Mesa, Newport, Huntington Beach because we make real estate easy for you. So let's get to it. Probate. Hey, by the way, stay to the end because I'm going to give you a free, I said free, PDF about the timeline for a probate. So it shows you everything real easy, gives you an idea all about probate. And guess what? It's going to be, yes, free. Nine steps to probate. All right, don't forget to stay to the end. Nine steps to probate. Before we get to that, what is probate? Probate actually is a Latin word that means prove the will. It means make sure that everything in the will gets done. Okay? And in reality, what it is, it, it is a procedure to distribute the assets of the deceased, to pay everything off, give it to, or, pay, or uh, sell it, or give it to the heirs. That's really what it is. Now, disclaimer, I am not an attorney, and even more importantly, I'm not a probate attorney, but I suggest you get one. An attorney who specializes in probate, okay, and trust. Okay, now, before we even get to the line, again, this is a bonus. How do you avoid probate? And I just said the word, trust. I know you don't wanna talk about death, especially your own, but if you put the property in a death, then your heirs don't have to worry about probate, which takes, by the way, nine to 12 months. That's when, even with everything going perfect, nine to 12 months. Okay, so what's the first thing that happens with probate? Yeah, and uh, nobody's gonna tell you this because they don't wanna talk about it, but the first thing that starts a probate is somebody dies. So grandma, grandpa, mom or dad, they die. That's what starts it. Then probably a son or a daughter, at this point they're called a petitioner, and they petition for probate. So that'd be the second thing you do. You file a petition. Hopefully you get your lawyer. It costs almost 500 bucks. You have to pay the court fee. File a petition for probate. And that's the second thing that happens. Then the third thing is it gets published in the newspaper. So you can, your lawyer can do this for you, but it, you've got to publish. And it's gonna, what it's publishing is when the hearing date is. Probably really be, be fair to the creditors. Somebody owes, uh, has money come and due, now they get an opportunity to get paid. All right, so it, legal wise, it has to be published. And then four to six days, four to six weeks after you file the petition for probate is a court hearing. And at the court hearing, if the judge seems it's worthy, a person can handle it, that uh, petitioner now becomes the official personal representative of the estate. Very cool. So they're the person that's gonna handle everything. It's a big job. I probably only suggest you do it once, but you can actually get paid the same amount as the lawyer, which is kind of a lot of money. So. And you don't have to take it, but a lot of people don't. But you, you, you are worthy to have it. It's legal. Okay. So then the next thing is, is after the hearing date, and the heir is de determined to be the personal representative. They are actually at that point given the legal authority through what's called orders for probate and letters, testamentary says, hey, you're the you are the personal representative. You can actually list the property for sale and you can even accept an offer like that day at that point in which only which is only four or five six weeks from the time that you filed the petition all right so that is actually um number four but you can't sell the property you can't close escrow because you got to give the no the uh notice to the creditors because the creditors want to get you know maybe get paid so you send out a notice to creditors that's number five, and you gotta wait 15 days. Okay, then you can close escrow, which, you know what's so great about that? I get paid, but you don't get paid, the lawyer doesn't get paid, your brothers and sisters or the rest of the heirs don't get paid. The creditors, no, other creditors don't get paid. 
so there's still a little bit more to go. But I'm done, woohoo, whoopee. But anyway, there's a little bit more. So you have to, um, at that point, you're gonna have to wanna pay all the creditors, that's number seven, and there's gonna be an inventory and appraisal. And that's actually, I have it listed as, as number eight, but uh, number seven, but it actually comes a little bit before because they're gonna, they're gonna hire a probate referee they're gonna figure out what the property is worth. All right, just drive them by, they're gonna figure out, figure it out. So if the property is messed up on the inside, your realtor, like me, would need to take care of that, look at it, take pictures, get some estimates to so that you give to the lawyer that gives to the probate referee so they could adjust it downward because you can't sell it unless the va value of the sale is 90% of what the probate referee says, okay? So then that's, that's number eight. Um, and then you can file a petition for distribution and accounting. And that's going to be another almost 500 bucks court fee. And then that's, that's I think, number eight. And then the very last thing is, it's a court hearing where everybody gets paid. So here we go. Somebody dies, number one. File a petition for probate, number two. The um, newspaper distribution. Number three, hearing date. Number four, that's when we get the, the personal representative and the doc, two of the three documents you have to have to actually sell it. Four, five, notice to creditors. Uh, six, uh, pay uh, all the creditors. Seven, an inventory and the appraisal. Eight is you petition for the final distribution, pay another fee. And number nine with the court hearing, where the judge stamps that approval and you get paid. Okay, that is Probate 101 made easy for you in a nutshell. Now, if you go down below, right there, I have a link for you. So you can, for free, no obligation, get a copy of the timeline for a probate. So this is David Klein, love it. Thank you so much. Hey, leave a comment. Give it a, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know what's going on. Share it with your friends. And again, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll see you next week.